27th of October 2015, U3A walk. We're parked at the car park at the Hermitage, just near Dunkeld off the A9. So we're walking up to the Hermitage, Ossian's Hall, following the River Bran. Right misty day, quite mild, the trees are beautiful. Just come under the, the railway bridge, there, there's a train going over, and that's the River Bran down there. Look at the trees, beautiful walk up here. The colour of the trees is marvellous. The path follows the, the river all the way up to the Hermitage building. There's a fork in the road here. You're better to take the left hand fork that follows the river. Although the right hand one comes out level with the Hermitage building. The woods are just a mass of colour. Beautiful, that's the, the brand down there again. Beautiful colours. It's a pity there hadn't been a, a little blink of sunshine, it's quite, quite misty. We're approaching the Hermitage now. Widens out, just up there. That's a pool on the River Bran, just before the Hermitage building. And looking up, the trees are gorgeous just now. And we go up this way now, we climb up this bit and the building is just up there. Just there. That's the waterfall on the, the River Bran. But they've closed the path across this bridge. It's closed just up there. Because you used to get through down to the other side and got good views looking up at the Hermitage. That's the Ossian's Hall up there. That's it. So we'll go up there and get another shot at the river. And now we're moving on from Ossian's Hall onto Ossian's Cave, which is uh, along the path here. That's another shot looking back. And the path over the bridge is closed at the moment. So we just follow the path now, go straight along to Ossian's Cave. Lovely walk along here. That's Ossian's Cave there, covered in ferns. Quite difficult the spot, you could walk straight past it if you weren't paying attention. There, but that's the cave, see some of our members are in it. It's just by the side of the path running up the River Bran. That's the other side of the cave there. Goes through to that window that was in the last shot. But we now follow the path along by the river a bit. And we're heading for the Rumbling Bridge. The path leaves the river for a, for a bit. <coughs> it's so humid today. Quite misty and damp, humid. But the scenery is beautiful. The 
path comes out into open country and there's a signpost at a crossroad pointing us to the rumbling bridge in just under half a mile. That's us approaching the rumbling bridge now. Last bit of the walk, last couple hundred yards is on our road. And then that's the bridge, I'll take a shot from the rumbling bridge. Quite a height up above this side, the other side of the waterfall. Just past the bridge, we turned left onto a path, and this is one of the viewpoints of the path looking down onto the river. That's another viewpoint on the path going down the other side of the, the river. And you can see the rumbling bridge just in the distance there. Some beautiful views with lovely colour of the trees. It's a damp, humid day. We're now on a path leading to the Inver car park, just over two miles from here. Then we can get from there back to the Hermitage car park. Light drizzle on now. Heading back down to the River Bran, across this deer fence. I think we'll probably just stop here for lunch. It's turned quite miserable, damp. We've just had lunch. Drizzle's gone off, so we're heading up through the woods now to the Inver car park. That's us at the Inver car park now. Quite a nice walk down to the car park and now we've got to find our way from here to the, uh, the car park, the main car park for the Hermitage, just off the A9. So we'll wait and try and find out how we get there. Right, the path leads us onto the A9, so we just walk a wee bit up the A9 and the Hermitage car park is just on our left. That's us back now. Just over four miles we cut the, the walk short. Just coming back down to the River Bran because the weather, weather was a bit doubtful. But a good, just over four miles. And thankfully the rain stayed off. But that's us back at the van now.